Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and today I wanted to tell you guys about the big surprise that I'm planning for my boyfriend, Ethan Still. So, as some of you guys may know, if you follow along on my Instagram, um, he is competing in his first ever bodybuilding show, which is really freaking crazy. So, for those of you guys who don't know him, my boyfriend used to weigh 475 pounds. He is now down over 250 pounds and weighing like 237. He's 7% body fat, just insane transformation. So um, yeah, somehow he wanted to pick up bodybuilding just for fun to see what he's capable of because that's totally normal for someone who was almost 500 pounds to just be like, yeah, I'm going to be a bodybuilder. Like what? It's just insane. But anyways, um, I wanted to do a really nice surprise for him and his teammates on Nova, Team Nova. Um, I wanted to do something nice for them because these guys have been doing their prep for like 21 weeks and for 21 weeks they have not indulged in like desserts and stuff like that and they're eating like such small amounts and just having to track everything so religiously and work out and you know my boyfriend's doing all of this while being a full-time student online and working full-time and it's just like insane like <laughs> if he can do it there are like are really no excuses as to anyone who can't and so he's just been motivating so many people like along his journey and it's just been so amazing to see. And of course I get to have the privilege of watching it, you know, from the sidelines. Um, we're doing like a long distance relationship right now. I live in LA in California and he lives in Dallas, Texas. So yeah, we're at a bit of a distance, you know, 1300 miles, but who's counting? Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try to do a little surprise even from so far away. So um, it's a total like normal occurrence that we'll just be like on FaceTime or texting and then I get like a DM from him and he's like sending me these like crazy cookies or donuts or like s'mores, ice cream, anything that's like those ridiculous like Instagram desserts. He's like always sending it to me and he's like, oh my gosh, drool face, drool face, like 19 weeks, 18 weeks, 17 weeks, like counting down the weeks until he gets to have his desserts again. Cause you know, he was 475 pounds. Like this guy has a sweet tooth. So I wanted to do something nice for him and the guys. And what I started doing was anytime he would DM me something, like one of these pictures from a dessert page, I went ahead and I DM'd that company. I just explained like his story and like, people were just getting like so inspired that they were like um yes we would love to be a part of that please let us know where to ship it to like we're in so my vision is to have an entire dessert table at our airbnb just full of different desserts from different companies but i'm really excited because i just love surprises and like i just i just love surprises and doing the most and i just want to I don't know, I just want to do something big for them and like if anyone deserves to pig out, it is them. So, I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes and also for those of you guys who don't know the show that he's competing in, it's the Summer Shredding Classic by Christian Guzman who is the big founder of Alphalete and um, it's just a really awesome show because uh, something unique that they have at this show is the transformation class which is what Ethan will be competing in. It's just awesome because it gives people the opportunity to do this who you would have never thought would do it. I just love what um, Christian Guzman and Alphali are doing with this because I think it's so awesome that it's going to give people the opportunity to share their stories. So um, yeah, I'm just super proud of everyone and really, really excited to be a part of rewarding them afterwards. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so update on all of Ethan's post-show surprises. So we're about one and a half weeks out from the show and Ethan has been working like crazy amounts in the pharmacy and he's working out really hard because he's so close to the show, but now he's having some back pain. So I figured why not try to do a pre-show surprise as well. I'm so extra, but <laughs> I just decided to reach out to a couple um, masseuses in the in the Dallas area and um, Massage Me Rocky got back to me and he is gonna be treating Ethan tonight, which is so, so sweet. Um, Ethan's gonna get a full body deep tissue massage with like hot rocks and everything. And yeah, we cannot have him feeling bad for his show. Like this is gonna be the biggest event of his life. So um, Rocky has been sweet enough to be in on the surprise with me and Ethan has no idea what's happening when he gets off of this shift tonight, but I'm about to text him and tell him to show up to this place even though he has no idea what's going on. So my girl texted me while I was at work 
and said, hey, how quick can you get to this address? And I looked it up. I wasn't really familiar with the address, but I knew where Commerce was. So I checked it out and uh, told her how long it'd be. And she was like, all right, I need you to go there when you get off. I got a surprise waiting for you. What? So this is what I walk into. She hooked your boy up. coordinate all of these surprises for him while I'm in a different state and also without him knowing. So we made it, but um, we are experiencing a couple minor details and bumps in the road. So a few things were delivered at our Airbnb, but um, it said it was put into a parcel locker, so we don't have the key to that. And I'm in contact right now with the owner um, and she's saying she probably can't get into it until Sunday which is the day after this show so um, hopefully we'll get into it sooner if not I do have some other things that arrived that will make it in time and some things I'm picking up in Houston that we'll have but I don't know if everything is gonna be there that I can just set it all out on like one big dessert table as planned so we'll see all right, so I just arrived to the dessert gallery and I'm super excited about this project because they're making a cake that looks like a dumbbell and I know the guys are gonna love it. I mean, dumbbells and weights are their life, so I don't know, I'm super excited. And here it is, the dessert gallery. Guess what today is? Show that baby, let's do this. <laughs> Pick up. <laughs> Momos. Some Momos donuts. Let's see what you got. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? You're so happy right now. Oh, uh, look at this. It's an opportunity for those who have drastically transformed their bodies, their, their minds, and have gone above and beyond to to take their physiques from a point that was before to where they are now, and they're taking the bravery to display it to you guys today on this stage. Listen, Ethan still. We made for your 4th of July special to end human trafficking and raise awareness for the hashtag end it movement. Flavors include red velvet cheesecake, which is his favorite, 
lemon blueberry cheesecake, his other favorite, Ooh. peanut butter cup, an all-time favorite, s'mores with a chocolate fudge, and vanilla galaxy swirl. They are so sweet. What? Hashtag ended. Okay, so continuing on with all of Ethan's post-show goodies, it's now day one post-show, and the first thing we're gonna do is, well, we just got our workout in, but now it's time to indulge a little bit in more of these goodies. So, Lisa said to come pick up this thing the day we want to eat it because it's best consumed fresh. So this isn't something that I could just get packaged and sent to us at our Airbnb or whatever. We're going to go and pick it up. So I'm ridiculous. hoping that he's going to love it because I know it sounds super good to me. And yeah, he's in for a treat. What does it say? Wait, what? Fried chicken and donuts? Yes. Double donuts. One of them specials, the other yes. seven regular. Yes. yes. So, Sam's chicken and donuts, cooking it up, oh show. Fried chicken tenders sandwiched between two donuts, cooking it up for the entire team. All of them are coming glazed, I got one separate, and it's gonna be maple bacon praline. Huh? Sam's fried chicken and donuts. <laughs> Putting it down, hooking it up. They are amazing back like, there. The real MVPs. This is incredible, y'all. Um, y'all, y'all need to smell this place. If you're ever in Houston, if you're ever in the area, check this place out. This is unreal. Much love to Sam's. Thank y'all. Could have used this to warm up backstage yesterday. <laughs> what? What is this? We might even eat this in the car. I might not even share it. Uh oh. Special donuts. Eight sandwiches. Bodybuilder's Delight. Probably, and I, I don't say this lightly because 500 pounds, I eat a lot. It's probably the best thing I've ever eaten. This is way better than that. Actually, good. You're having the classic one. Yes, the class. Of course, this is a very classic dish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, just the way, the way mom made it. Good. I just don't know why. <laughs> Absolutely, this is now a show tradition. It's, it, yes. We need to tell all the other guys competing about this place. Yes. <laughs> tell Christian. Be like, yes. Oh, you need to have them cater. Thank y'all. <laughs> 21 weeks. Well worth it. So, this cake is from the Dessert Gallery, which is a local bakery here in Houston. And they made it special for you guys. It's Take a look amazing. at it. amazing. I can't even see it. I smell Take it. Take a look at it. What is it? Oh, oh my gosh. What is it? <laughs> Yo. So last but not least, we also have these cookies from Dough Digger. So you guys go ahead and dig in. <laughs> so there's sea salt Nutella, Earl Grey, blueberry, s'mores, fruity pebbles, churro with dulce de leche, Wait, strawberry that? crunch, butter beer, oh, yeah, that and taro good. coconut. The person that arranged this, let's let her get in. Oh. Mm. 
Thank you guys, this is awesome. Okay, so all of the post-show treats are not ending anytime soon. We had one more package sent to Ethan's apartment that he could come home to. This right here is like the four happiest words ever. <laughs> World's best cookie dough. Cookie dough stuffed cookies. The look of anticipation. Oh my lord. Wow. They're so soft. Wait, what? Oh. God. No. Oh my gosh. Any suggestions on which ones to do first? Y'all are amazing. Thank you. This is. Alright, I'm gonna heat one up now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So get this. As I'm sure you know by now, I competed in the Summer Shredding Classic a couple days ago, and I've got the craziest sweet tooth in the world. Which is something I actually learned while I was on prep for the show. I would scroll through Instagram, check out these like crazy gourmet, just amazing, delicious looking cookies and found this page called Bourbon Bakery. Y'all, if you're not following them, follow them, check them out. It's literally mouth watering, like just to stare at your phone, like, anywho, I messaged her about putting in an order, told her about the show. She scrolled through my page, saw my before and after of my trash connection and being the sweetheart that Abby is, I don't know if it's okay to call her Abby, Abby, Abigail, whatever you want me to call you, you are seriously one of the kindest, most amazing human beings I've had the pleasure of meeting through social media. And being who she is, the kind of person she is, she decided to take it upon herself to, we'll say sponsor, however you want to say it, to hook me up and send me this. These are her cookies. Cinnamon Rolex, Biggie Smalls. This is their most popular one. I literally, I live for M&M's. S'more that. It literally has a s'more, like a real s'more with graham cracker and all in the side, in, inside of this cookie. Then it's got marshmallow roasted with a torch on top. I think this one's called Fluffed Up if I remember right. It's literally nutty, nutty butter, peanut butter cookie filled with marshmallow fluff. Confetti Wop, I'm doing this off the top of my head if that tells you how many times I've stared at this page. <laughs> Confetti Wop, this one is a, I believe like a birthday cake or cupcake, uh, cake batter flavored um, cookie that is dipped in buttercream icing sprinkles, full of sprinkles actually. Uh, what's cool about this one, I think the entire month, I think it was just for the entire month of June, which was Pride Month, she was donating a dollar from every one of these sold to the LGBTQ community um, in, I believe it was Louisville, Kentucky, if I remember right. Uh, but that just kind of shows how big of a sweetheart she is. This one has an entire Oreo inside of it, and it is literally about three inches thick. We're gonna heat some of these up and eat them. I've been dying to eat them. Things have been so crazy at, with the show, like with everything going on, it was the best weekend of my life, and things were so wild. I was not able to eat them there, which is actually okay because now I don't have to share with the guys on the team. Shh, I'm but once again, thank you so much. Uh, honestly, it means the world. You have just been the sweetest person. You're, you're an amazing, amazing human being. And I am going to heat some of these up and I'm going to enjoy with my lovely girlfriend, aka camera woman, <laughs> at Woke Up Like This. <laughs> Thank you so much again.
just recently competed in my first ever bodybuilding show at the Summer Training Classic in Houston uh, with Christian Guzman this past weekend. My lovely, amazing girlfriend went out of her way to hook me up with some amazing post-show treats that I've just been dying to have. And my entire Instagram Explore feed was these like gourmet amazing cookies and she got every one of them sent to her. So uh, I guess she took it upon herself to start reaching out to companies and she got me hooked up. And I'm so excited about this. What we have here is the Duchess. I've never even heard of a company more well put, like more just like elegantly named. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so we got an assortment, it looks like. What all flavors we got here? Unicorn. Yo, this one has glitter. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? Funfetti. You can never go wrong with some Funfetti. Flavor of the year. S'mores. Oatmeal Apple Pie. Wait a minute. Cookie Monster? Huh? <laughs> Chocolate peanut butter chip. Oh, another glittery one. Galaxy. Y'all, this cookie is purple and has glitter. Love it. Oreo cheesecake. Two of my favorite things. Three of my favorite Oreos, cheesecake, and cookies. Oh, butterscotch maple bacon. Y'all, how do y'all do this? Good old chocolate chip, look how fat this cookie is. My goodness. Ooh, raspberry almond. Ooh. Yo, the Duchess hooked it up. Much love to y'all. Thank you so much. Like this is, I'm blown away, honestly. This is incredible. Unreal. I am going to go heat one of these up, or five, and eat right now. I've got a gallon of milk and it's about to go down. Thank you so much. All right, Ethan's final post-show treat, and this is from Morgan of Stacked. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this. I'm assuming this is s'mores for sure. Oh, red velvet. That's red velvet. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I got to choose these flavors. It was really hard. I bet. Oh, uh, this you, is Reese's Pieces. You, you did right choosing this one though, for sure. <laughs> That's a must. I know you love them. Oh, this is like cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll, roll. mm-hmm. Yes. Who would have thought cinnamon roll would make such a good cookie? Like, well, I mean, I'm assuming it's good. Golly. Hold on. All right, what's, this one's got like. Oh, the sweet and salty. L's sweet and salty. You think we can eat them all at once? Is that a, is that a thing? Like, We're up for town. Oh, and that's the PB and J. <laughs> oh. I know. Which to go with first? But I haven't had anything Reese's Pieces in a long time. It's been a major craving since I've been on prep. Oh, what to do? All right, I think we're gonna go with this one first. I, oof, maybe this and PB and J. This now PB and J later. That sounds like a move. Yes. Thank y'all so much, Stacked. This is this is amazing. Like X O heart O Mo. <laughs> Mo, Morgan, I guess, is your name. Thank you so much. Seriously, this is incredible. Um, these look absolutely to die for. Much Thank love you, Morgan. Thank you so much.